hello it's Ashley here thank you so much for choosing to watch this video I really appreciate it let's just try and get my microphone wire out of the way you don't want to see that do you there we go that's a bit better anyway I am on today with the last of the um, A to Z card collaboration hosted by Leslie Bromfield for the last 13 months we have had to upload two cards a month one for each letter of the alphabet the rules are that the card needs to be five by seven in format uh, but you can do anything that you want and um, I would like to just take this opportunity to thank Leslie for hosting this collaboration I've learned a lot actually uh, and although a lot of my cards have been simple in terms of just being a five by seven card format there are a couple where I've kind of bent rules a little bit or uh, gone a little bit outside of the box anyway with that being said I'll try and keep this video short because uh, yesterday's was quite a long video and the day before's was quite a long video you'll be pleased to know that I will be giving you a rest for a couple of days although I am going to try and put my hashtag PT tag club make on um, and again I'll try and keep that quite short um, but here we go so obviously the last two letters of the alphabet are y and z and for y i've i've done a little smorgasbord a little collection of things beginning with y and um, i've created a yellow background using uh, bumblebee mica spray from lavinia just onto some white card it wasn't a very heavy weight card i'm trying to use scraps from other projects rather than cut into uh, new pieces of card you know cost of living crisis trying to you know be mindful of my crafting um what's the word i'm looking for using up resources wisely yeah so i sprayed that and then i went through a lavinia stencil just to add a little bit of interest with a little bit of um carved pumpkin i believe it is that was just left on the brush i didn't add any extra ink and in the corners here what was left on um the brush of um I believe it's mustard seed and then I went in with mustard seed and a little bit of squeezed lemonade I've got a big A to Z uh, background stamp or alphabet stamp from Pink Frog and um, yeah I've just put that through there then um, I was going to well I thought you know why is for yacht and um, I was gonna cut one of these little yachts up I'm gonna sneeze <coughs> oh bless me sorry about that I was going to cut one of these little yachts up but I thought no let's get a bit of you know skill going on there uh, so again a scrap of uh, some paper and I stamped this yacht which came free with a magazine I think it's a Sheena Douglas stamp and um, I've watercoloured using distress inks and distress oxides but I've added a little bit of when I swipe my acrylic block with the ink I've, added a, I've squeezed a little bit of the um, Spectrum Noir sparkle pen and used that to kind of dilute the colour so you get a little tiny bit of sparkle so we've got uh, I think this was carved pumpkin this was salty ocean dragged out not very well you can see and then this was just tumbled glass um, scribbled and I just tore um to get kind of like follow the shape of the yacht um this little girl here represents youth or being youthful i've got a little dictionary definition there i've just stamped let your dreams set sail so there's kind of like a a sentiment on there and then little dictionary little dictionary definition french english of yellow there so that is that one then Z, I've made an easel card. It is five by seven. Z is four Z. <laughs> this is some patterned paper that I'd got in my stash and I just stenciled through some circles to pick up with this here. And I don't know whether you can see, I've stamped the little letter Z. I've got this little um, collection of alphabet stamps. I believe they were do craft paper mania do crafts there's numbers and letters in there and i've got them in this little kilner jar uh, just to keep them safe because well, i've lost the packaging 
don't know whether you saw that did you see that i've got no idea what the mean shot um and yeah so on here i've just got some paper that is zebra print um i've got z from tim holt's collection dictionary definition of zany because i thought this man looked zany and i've just got a little uh, letter z held in with a um what do you call them split pin which I've, I've poked a hole through this and i thought he looked zany or eccentric it says um zany or eccentric person this is historical um, interesting it says the second definition historical an attendant clown awkwardly mimicking the chief clown in shows Hmm. isn't that funny anyway and then i i cut him out here because it's got merchant tailor and tailors use zips don't they so i've got this little zippy pull here that i found it and i don't know where it's come from it's come off a zip obviously and <laughs> talking of zips i spent ages this morning looking for i bought many 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 years ago from one of these shows at alexandra palace um a couple of very short zips that were to be used in paper crafting i thought oh i'll put one of those on do you think i could find them no but what i did find was a fidget spinner that i confiscated off a student and never gave back and he never asked for it back but it's a really good one <laughs> i love love it and uh, also found a really old passport photo looks scary though no time most wanted from 2008 that was from my passport 2008 to 2018 yeah i don't look like that anymore 2008 how old would i have been um i can't work it out in 2005 I would have been 40 so i was 43 gosh what a difference a decade and a bit makes yeah you can see i had hair there a bit more hair than i've got now so that is my y and z and i thought what would be quite fun to do like i did in my last a to z card collaboration is just have a little look through at everything i've made and um if you would like to comment down below which is your favorite anybody that does so i will put into a uh, secret well not so secret i will put into a drawer and they will win the card that is their favorite i'll leave it open for a couple of weeks or so so that you get a chance uh, or this video gets a chance to get some views so a was for apple just a simple um five by seven portrait card b was for beautiful blue tits blue and birds and branches i guess lots of blues on there just simple gatefold card c was for cat and uh, was the joy fold card that's a heavy one this is open internationally must be subscribed please if you don't mind uh so that was c yeah open internationally d was for dog and it's also a dalmatian dog and this was napkins and it's got a little secret bit in there and again sticking by that five by seven and it's got a little little easel so that it stands up e is for elephant and easel card so um there we go that was what's the paper first edition is it yeah first edition paper so e is for elephant f was for fox and forest really and i've got this bow window card so it's got a little window cut out there and you can see the fox speaking speaking peeking through and f is also for fern and i used forest moss i think as a color in an unfamiliar place um g was for giraffe just a simple piece of napkin art on one of my backgrounds i think i did this one on camera 
H is for happy. Little child there with a teddy bear, isn't that cute? I was for ice and all things icy, like ice cream. <laughs> I haven't got ice cream on there, but this little ice gem there. So I is for icy. J was for jellyfish. That's um, graphic 45 paper. K was for Kanga from Winnie the Pooh. Just simple. I did two for L. I've got uh, another piece of a napkin art. I love this sheet napkin. And I've got a few left. Um, L for lamb. And there's a little leaf there as well. <laughs> love that one. Every time I see sheep, I think of all this stuff. And um, L is also for lemons. And uh, this is using pages. Well, L was a napkin. And I think uh, Kim Kelly might have given me that napkin. I can't remember. But the lemon, the uh, definition in the picture is from the uh, picture dictionary that Woolly Staff gave me for my birthday last year. I think it was last year. Or was it this year? I've forgotten. I think it was last year, you know. God, time is time is going on i tell you um m was for men and mementos of lives lived lots of mixed media on here as well with frontage inking stamping really like that one actually i think this is my favorite it's really simple um and n was for night and you've got little the pound pippin there i love that really really love that i know you shouldn't play your own trumpet o is for owl and i've used the cosmos paper from stamperia and we've got a gatefold card so a was for owl we've got a little tag hanging out there p was for we've got another easel card you see i like my easel cards P was for polar bear and penguins and the poles, South Pole. Yes, although I think one of these isn't found in the South Pole, but I just put it there for poles. <laughs> Another double clanger. Q is for quokka. These are found on Rocknest Island off the coast of Perth in Australia. A fortunate find. I put that there because I think I relayed the story of trying to find these on our honeymoon. And it was right at the very end of the day that we actually found the quokkas. Here's me saying that I wasn't going to be longer than at 13 minutes nearly. I'll keep it under 15. Um, Q was for also for quirky and I recycled this wonderful piece of artwork that was from a chocolate wrapper or chocolate box really like that another piece of napkin art R was for rabbit love these love oh beautiful little bit of stamping with the b love the watercolor effect of this and then i've just put a few uh, tim holtz um wildflowers die cuts and i've called him m tibbets i think he's called malcolm tibbets <laughs> S is for stag and stenciling actually I've stenciled this leaf which is a Lavinia mask um, and I've kind of tried to kind of put it over so this the whole card is stenciled and then that piece is kind of stuck over the top if that makes sense which is why the stag's in the bottom left rather than central but that makes it quite quirky I think um, T was for tree and toadstools and twilight i've stamped everything in in twilight and there's a little bit of twinkle there as well so that was t u was for universe and um was it jackie drake had given me one of these or was it sarah wilkes i can't remember one of my lovely subscribers anyway i'm telling you my memory is shot to pieces anyway they'd they'd given me a card with this idea um, so I adapted it to fit to the five by seven and this is universe with all kinds of things planetary and the little um, stars can't shine without darkness. V is for violin and a little bit of vellum. U and V, yeah W was for wood 
and uh, wood, woodland really so I've kind of tried to do woodland with these little trees and I suppose wildlife and what have I got under here the, there's little pippin and the wind we've got there it's quite nice little flappy you know I like my little interactive bits x is for x marks the spot so I stenciled with crackle paste through uh, my x stencil it's actually a plus sign stencil but I orientated it so that it was x's and I did kind of like um this background which looked a little bit like a map but it's not <laughs> an x marks the spot don't know why I put her on there but there's a theme going on isn't there yes and then obviously y is for yacht and yellow and youth and then Z is for zebra, zany, zip. And actually, I've got this little bit of map here, and I've highlighted in glossy accents Zealand of New Zealand. So that's why this is standing up because I don't want it to. Look, that's not dry yet. Yeah. So those are my 26 makes, 28 in all. Um, comment down below if you'd like a chance to win one of my cards you don't have to if you don't want to win a card that's absolutely fine but if you would like to tell me which is your favorite i will put you into a draw and um, we'll draw for a winner in a couple of weeks thanks again to leslie for hosting this wonderful collaboration don't forget to click on the links in the description box to see what everybody else has made take care everybody i'll be back sometime over the weekend with a shortish video hopefully with my hashtag PT Tag Club make. Bye everybody!